History Month on Voice of America. We remember the risk takers who took a stand, crossed hard lines, and often gave their lives so future generations could live better. Ida B. Wells challenged segregation, fought for women's rights, and was the most prominent black female journalist of her era. Born during the Civil War, Ida Wells was the oldest of six children, but was orphaned at age 16 when her parents and a sibling died of yellow fever. To support the family, Wells took a teaching job in segregated Memphis, Tennessee. There, Wells witnessed such unequal treatment of black students that she began writing articles calling attention to their struggles. One day, on a train to work, Wells refused to give up her first class seat and was dragged off the train. She sued the railroad for discrimination and won. That incident sparked her quest for justice. But Wells' most notable crusade began after three of her friends were lynched. She documented and exposed the realities of lynching and persuaded people to leave Tennessee. Threatened with violence, Wells was forced out of Memphis and moved to Chicago. These events didn't stop Wells. Instead, they inspired decades of activism, books, articles, and speaking against Southern atrocities against blacks. And by this time, her investigative journalism attracted audiences in Europe. In 1895, Wells married prominent Chicago attorney Lee Barnett, and while raising their growing family, she still found time to start reform groups for women and blacks. In 1909, she became a founder of the NAACP. She also marched in the 1913 March for Universal Suffrage in Washington, D.C. Her fearless crusade for equality for black Americans continued until her death in 1931. Ida B. Wells left behind a legacy of activism, justice, and hope for change. Voice of America remembers a fearless risk-taker in black history, Ida B. Wells.